One of the um, fascinating things is that you mentioned that a lot of women who are suffering with fertility issues, maybe they've gone everywhere, they've seen the OB, they've seen reproductive endocrinology, nothing seems to be working. You map their mouth, you see that they've got higher levels of F nucleatum and or then P. Gingivalis, or P. Yeah. gingivalis maybe, and then you do your course of action to either correct the microbiome, get rid of that, and then they're falling pregnant within around two to three months. There is a research study that shows that it takes two to three months longer for women with oral dysbiosis and periodontal disease to get pregnant than if you have a balanced mouth. Do OBs know about this? They need to. We need to be working in partnership oh because this isn't just so we're focusing on women now, but mm. this also applies to the men. Um, mm. This oral inflammation increases sperm apoptosis. It decreases sperm motility. That's insane. Every OB needs to be talking to their patients about the dental check. So I recommend a check at the end of the first trimester and the second, a cleaning, get a mm -hmm. checkup.